Hello, it's Friendly Cowboy, not with Friendly News. Or well, just listen to radio. In fact, you can fight cancer. Okay. Talk radio, they were talking about the coronavirus again. And it's stopping all these different sports venues. They're not going to have the March Madness. They're not going to have uh, uh, basketball now. Uh, they're not going to have. I don't think hockey's been involved with it, but uh, that's, <clears throat> excuse me, that's on, I don't know what other sports they're not going to have. Uh, spring training, baseball, they're not going to have that no more, so spring training's over. Uh, so how are they going to uh, look at their baseball players when they're working or whatever? So what I'm confused about, the main thing I'm confused about, that this is a virus. It's a virus, and viruses can't cure you can't go after them with antibiotics it has to run the course and uh, same with the flu same with Ebola uh, Ebola is a lot harder to get to and it's a little bit more easier uh, to quarantine uh, the flu everybody gets the flu except for me apparently I caught the swine flu a couple about 2014 I caught the swine flu and uh, early part of 2014, I caught the swine flu. And uh, I was sick for a while. I ran a fever for nine days straight, something like that. 101, 102. It would break every once in a while. But it, yeah, and when it broke, I, I tried to eat something and I felt better. But it, I couldn't eat hardly anything. I lost 15 pounds. <laughs> but I didn't eat anything for nearly nine days. It took, uh, after the fever broke, it took a couple of days for me to really start eating again and I've kind of gained all that back but this coronavirus there's going to be no cure for it I don't know why they don't let it burn through they're saying it's nothing like the flu it's a lighter version of the flu it only affects usually older people uh, with respiratory infection because it's associated with the SARS uh, that was going through what SARS is Something to do with the respiratory system. There's a, it's an acronym for the respiratory system. And what I'm confused about is why everybody's freaking out about this cotton picking deal because or this virus because there's no cure. There's going to be no cure. The only way you could cure it, the only way you could stop it, is to kill everybody involved and burn the bodies. It's the only way. I know it sounds harsh, sounds stupid, but that's how they do it. Uh, if something were to uh, come about, you can't, what supposedly the 10,000 people, or I don't know how many people in the US now have it, uh, but let's say 100 people. Well, you'll have to, you'll have to uh, put those 100 people into quarantine, and then everybody that are associated with it, you'll have to put in quarantine because you don't know if they've come in contact with them or not because they will lie. They will always lie. Someone will always lie when it comes to saving their friend or friend not being in quarantine. Or they might even lie to say that, yes, they were in contact with them to bring them into the quarantine. But the thing about it is, is you're not going to get rid of this virus. It's already on Earth. It's already happened. It's already transferred over, supposedly from somebody eating a stupid bat. I don't know why they allow the people eat bats. Maybe they're so hungry they have to eat bats, but supposedly it was a delicacy and it wasn't fixed right, and they ate it. So, you know, it's maybe that's something that's, maybe they should look into that. If you eat bats, you're not allowed in the United States. Or if you eat bats, you, sh you should be quarantined to your own part of the world. But no, and China didn't quarantine it. They're not gonna quarantine it. There's a billion people there. How are they gonna quarantine a billion people? I want to know how Italy quarantined itself. Did they close every single part of the border? I mean, they talk about our border being coarse. They got the Alps in their border. Somebody could come over the Alps. I don't know. I don't know. It, it confuses me that they're so worried about a virus that they're touting is nowhere near what the flu is. And they're closing everything. Can't even fly to Europe now. Some of the schools here in uh, Phoenix, Arizona are closing down. 
because of the virus. Remember as a kid, I don't know if y'all remember, you know, I'm 51 years old, so there's people my age that would remember this, and people probably a little bit younger, probably in their 30s might remember this. Then when someone got chicken pox, everybody went to that person's house to get chicken pox. All the kids went to that house to get chicken pox. You know, go play with that kid, make him feel better, and also hopefully get the disease yourself. That way you'll never get chicken pox again. Maybe with this coronavirus, that's what we have to do. Everybody get it, get a, uh, get it, so it doesn't, uh, it doesn't ever come back again and bother us. But either they're not telling us they're it's killing people left and right, which in our state, everybody that's had it, I think there's thirty some odd now that have it in Arizona. Maybe I don't know. Maybe less than that. Maybe six recorded cases, possibly more. Or eight recorded cases, possibly more. Nobody's died. Everybody's gotten better. So what is the deal? What 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 is it a certain blood type that it's only affecting? Because they're only telling us that older people are dying from it. And I'm not saying, you know, screw the older people that I guess you go in there. Oh, okay. I didn't know you can go in there. Screw the older people. There was somebody that went behind me, and I'm in a close. I'm actually on a little dirt lot next to the road. But uh, it uh, it amazes me that they don't tell you the truth. If that's the truth, because so far in our state, and far as I know, nobody across the United States has died from it that have it. Then. It's less than the flu, is what they're telling. So they're trying to quarantine everybody away from it. Now, supposedly there's a rumor that it could possibly lead to complications into the future. You still cannot stop a virus. You'll never be able to stop a virus. Ask any doctor. Ask them. Can't stop a virus. I've had a few doctors ride with me, and I've asked them. Well, one of them was a a few nurses one of them was a, a physician's assistant and I asked her I said what is the deal and they're they're laughing like it's not that big of a deal and I don't understand why people think that the news organizations are smarter than the doctors even the doctors are saying that it's not a deadly virus but all the news organizations said, let's close this, let's close that. I don't know, I'm afraid to catch people and all that. And who cares? It's a virus, it's just like the flu, people. Please, please. And if somebody has a better deal, if somebody thinks that I'm wrong, let me know. Let me know. All right? Freddy Cowboy. Uh, you could message underneath the video if that will ever happen. I don't know. Nobody looks at my videos. So I don't care. But I'm going to put it on Facebook and I'm also going to put it on and I'll put it on my Cowboy Way and I'll put it on YouTube. So, if you're a doctor and you've seen this video or you know somebody that has this and survived it, you need to come out and tell the people the truth. Is it that deadly or is it not that deadly? Do we have to worry about something or do we not have to worry about something? All right, friendly cowboy, y'all have a good day.